in my uh, previous video uh, I told you about the relative position and how to reset that relative position and I did say um, that the machine doesn't take any notice of that relative position it doesn't really use it well I did kind of lie uh, because there is a case where it does look at it and you probably know this if you use this to measure your tool lengths um, in which case it does look at this position and actually records it into the offset and it's, it's a button called input C which I will be showing you quite a bit of in a minute I'm going to show you how to do this on the normal fanuc side and also on guide I which is I just think is underused and it in a lot of ways it's a better way of doing things um, but you can mix and match these two things if you've got guide I you don't have to stick with one particular way of doing things so um, what we would do if we were going to measure tools is we'd bring the spindle nose down to touch the top of the job or whatever it is we intend to measure the tools from. I'm using one of these buttons that lights up when you compress it and it gets to a certain point and then it, it lights up and you can use that for measuring your tool. So you touch the spindle nose on the top of this button and then you zero up your relative display. Then when you put the tool and touch the top of the tool on that button it's actually now that relative display is actually displaying the length of that tool so then when you go into your offset file and you press the input C it will actually record that length straight into your um, offset file so it's a quick way of getting your tool lengths in there the only thing you've got to be really careful of is as I said in the previous video if you do switch the machine off and back on again you can lose this position so it will all be wrong you'll have to start again and the other problem is that obviously if your mates on the machine or something you don't know if he's set it you don't know if he's done it right you don't know if he's used it for something else maybe milling the top of a part so it's all a bit random but unfortunately that is the correct way to set tools on a fanic control using this input C but in a minute I'm going to show you more on the uh, on the fanic side using uh, guide eye and using the normal way so let's go into uh, the tool offset file and this is on the normal standard fanic side I'm sure there must be a name for this but I don't actually know what that is so I'm going into this offset file just ignore these existing offsets we've got to imagine that uh, we've got for example this is tool number nine um, and we've just uh, touched it on the top of the job and it's come up with a relative position of 128.9 and then when we press uh, the the Z axis now we can press input C so when we press input C it's actually put that figure in there but don't forget that if you press Y or X and then input C you would you would get the X and Y position so you'd get the wrong figure so you must press Z first and this input C button um, won't be there until you press one of the axes and this is where the difference is between each side if I want to zero this off I'm going to go zero and I'm just going to say um, input I can use this input button here or the one down here and that's uh, that's done my that's took just took it back where it was so now let's switch over to the uh, guide eye side um, and what we do then is we're looking for this button that says tool offset TOFS and once we get there we'll get this screen and now we can cursor down to whichever tool it is we want to input this figure into and we just hit this input C figure if you get a red alarm on this just press your reset key and it will then come up correctly and now it's given us a choice of axes which axis do you want to put in here so we don't actually tell it the axis we just move to the axis and then we just say input and that's actually put that figure in there so it's that input C and move to the axis that you want and then the minute you press that input you can cancel that if you want um, but you know that you've got the correct axis. So that's the way of doing it on the uh, on the guide eye side.